What's up, punters and dribblers? Welcome back to About Even, the number one betting show on the face of God's green earth. Coming to you, courtesy of our good friends at Ned's, whom I say it every week, but I'll get down on my knees for them. Maybe, I don't, maybe I'm not that graphic, but I'll get down on my knees for Ned's, Ed. Yeah, gladly. Yeah. I mean, I'll bend over for them too. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Whatever you know they what want, saying? really, Seba. Yeah. Not yeah. whatever they yeah. want, but like... Re- 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 relatively. Pretty much. Bro. I'm closer to whatever they want than I should be. Yeah, there you go. That's nice. I wasn't sure if you were listening. That's why I actually... Well, you, 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 you were texting at the start of the show. You bend over for the best. Could I actually just... Whilst we are, and we thank Neds for their service, um, I don't want to like start this off on a negative tone. And I know that I had mentioned it to Eddie and he maybe was already across it. I wasn't across it. But like, you know... you were away. I was away, I think. Or sick or something. But like, we're all good mates. Mm-hmm. You know, we all like enjoy each other's company, we really like each other. I must say this I was a little hurt personally, can't speak for everyone else, that I wasn't invited to the fucking Roo Crew meetup that I saw on socials where he's fucking there with all the boys Hammy, fucking Maddie, Cody was fucking there apparently. I don't know if you were there, Rando. I wasn't invited either. <laughs> hey, I wasn't. I wasn't. I wasn't. I wasn't hurt about it. I wasn't upset. Like, we, we even talked about it on this on the show yeah. when Tom was away. But then when Tom reminded me that we invite Rue to everything, that's when I was like, you're right. We should that have. was pretty fucking dog. <laughs> Dude. So like, had him on the fucking boat last year, Christmas time. You know what I mean? He's at the golf fucking, day. I want to be around him because he's a friend. And then I see him <laughs> fucking partying with everyone. And I'm like, what the fuck, dude? Can I respond? I'd love you to. I was heartbroken. I uh, I obviously, you know, I put it in the Roo Crew. I organised. I thought, you know, my mates, they'll be in the Roo Crew. They'll know about it. They'll be well and truly aware of it. The week of, I'm all excited. The boys are going to come along. It's going to be nice to host them at something. And then ah. I get told, oh, we're going to Perth this week. And I'm like, okay, well, that's a bit fucked. Yeah. I'm holding an event. You're obviously in the Roo Crew because you could mates oh, of mine, so you'd know about the event. Then I find oh, out Kempi's going to Perth. I'm like, oh, we are in the shit. Roo Crew via Cody. Yeah, we are in the Roo Crew. We pay for him to be in there to pay you. Yeah. So we are in I there. I also pay Inter- Cody Inter- for the Roo Crew too. Yeah, we all are, yeah. we're all kicking that's in. That's that's you're drawing a long bow there because I actually physically pay Cody every week yeah. and then he Me too. Him, so. Every time I walk in, pass him. Okay. Pass okay. Over to okay. Him. So right. you've got your own yeah. arrangement. Yeah. I wasn't aware yeah. of that. Uh, yeah, we were in Perth. Was, I didn't know we were in Perth for that. I'm glad this played out the way it did. Well, I still good. think that an invite would have been good though. Like at just like a verbal in case you missed it in the Roo Crew. Yeah. I knew you were going to Perth. I knew that you'd prioritise um, other things in front of your well, mates, which is pretty stock standard. No, so I, I, think I did what I had to do. Now, oh speaking God. of Cody boys, uh, I toppled him in the about even Supercoach comp grand final over the weekend. Oh, no. Was that the final? Well, you kept that quiet, totes, my goat. <laughs> what are you doing? You realise you're in a content studio, Cody, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Bullshit. Oh, yeah. he's, such a, he's so butthurt. Yeah. So fucking, he's so, like, uh, rugby league proud. Yeah. Yeah, he you doesn't want to I mean? come out and tell Like, I don't fucking, I don't know anything about anything, but I know me rugby league. And so when he's, he's lost to his hero there. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, good week for me, mate. Mm. Yeah, well, come, yeah, good week I'm for you. I'm enjoying myself at the moment. Yeah, what did you win? We didn't put up anything for that, did we? No, nothing. That was really fucking I don't think anyone weak. was paying attention to Who it. Who came last? Uh, don't you. know. It Probably Tim Williams. Surely, surely, how he's no, going. Tom. Surely. Tom Birmingham of never change his side phase. Dude, I've, I've got some pretty good scores with that side. Just <laughs> random weeks, I'd be like 1,500 points. you got better you scores than you deserve towards yeah, the Yeah, much better, yeah. much better. Listen, Chanel Harris-Tavita, one of the great halfbacks. Um, Cleary on the bench. Should we get into some accountability? I think so, mate. That seems like How a- much did you beat Cody by? Cody? 100 points. 100 points close. Yeah. Mm, not close. that close. Well, one in the draft grand final, two boys, you'll be happy. Oh, yeah? So. Well, suck shit. Tommy Turbo scored, even though that... It actually with- worked out perfectly. I won my bet, and he didn't do enough to beat me. Fantastic yeah. weekend. Right. Yeah. You know oh, how- so you won the whole thing. I'm in the grand final this weekend. Oh, right. Don't do that to you me. Know how rude oh, did you win the whole thing, Rue? Congratulations. <laughs> well done, Rue. <Ru>. Congrats. <laughs> Congratulations. Well done, Rue. That's incredible. Amazing. We should get you something to say congrats. Oh, I did. I was wondering sweet. why you were beaming not so much. Yeah, yeah, life's good at the moment, mate. I'm winning yeah, everything. I'm yeah. fucking winning my Supercoach Grand Final. I'm this really is the mad. only thing that matters to me. So if you guys to jinx it, <laughs> really hurts. But that's fine. <laughs> what do you win? What uh, have you won? Big ass trophy. I'll bring it in next week if I come home with it. Oh, wow. Any KU yeah. favourite? No, or? no cash. Just all pride, mate. All oh, pride. no kish. What would your odds be against your opponent? Um, I'm probably a slight outsider. Okay. Yeah. You don't but get like a ring or something? That's right. I get a ring too. Oh, you yeah, do? Yeah, okay, yeah. nice. Yeah. Have so, you got any rings of those before? Have you got two of them. Oh, wow. So, okay. okay. You should be wearing those more. Well, I actually uh, I made a statement on draft day this year because all the champions wear their rings and I was the only one that did it. And everyone's like, what is your ring? And I'm like, 
because I don't care about the, the last rings. I'm here for the next oh, ring. Oh, so I said wow. a statement earlier. I'm in the grand final. Fuck How long have you been doing it? Fingers crossed. Uh, this is year 11 for me. And you guys go away, don't you? Like for yeah, the, we go down to for the Do you do a rap as well? <laughs> like it's his favorite weekend. <laughs> it's his favorite weekend. <laughs> By far and away, favorite weekend. I love that. Of my weekend. But do you do anything to close it out? Like obviously that's the opening ceremony. Do you have a closing? <laughs> no, we don't. It's funny with draft comps, like because there's only two of us left, no one else really gives a fuck. Yeah, so yeah, it's just right. us talking to each other. Yeah. 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 But there's a few guys that get to draft day next year and find out who won last year. Because they just tune out about it. Yeah, anymore. right. Okay. Yeah. All so. right. Means the world to me, though. So. Well, well, that's good. All the best, mate. Yeah, all the best. You've already won it, mate. Congratulations. Cowboys 38 defeated the Storm 30. Uh, I see that you boys all had the same bet. Felt 2 plus Wishart. Uh, Far Longo 2 plus. I don't think he scored a try. No, he didn't. But that's pretty pretty close for that bet. He yeah. moved to fullback too. I was excited. Yeah. Like three line breaks, was it, or something? Like Yeah, and I then d- like he dropped the ball. Yeah. And it would have been frothing in the first half. Felt went over pretty in the quick, twice yeah. the first half. Yeah. 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 We thought there was a chance you could return to a panel of immortals over mm. here. That would have been scat. Yeah, that would have been that, 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 been, that. that would have been, <laughs> that would have been so etch. Yeah, uh, didn't happen. I had a dumb bet on that I put on last minute in the night two plus. Uh, I'm Ira Aramea. Aramea two plus. Uh, nothing. Nothing doing. Uh, Seagulls 34 defeated the Bulldogs 22. I got carried away with Rando's stats, which is that in milestone games Tommy scores two point, uh, two tries rather. He did go down injured. So he, he would have, but he didn't. Yep. Unfortunate. Rue and I tripled that, by the way. Uh, Rue and Tom tripled yeah. turbo anytime. I got another bone to pick. Got another bone to pick. I You missed last week, right? You were, you're in Bali sunning your dick. He basically started the show shitting on you. My dear friend, Edward Simpson. And I'm like, wow, what the fuck? And he <laughs> said like that you stole one of his triples the week before and basically you're a scumbag because you stole his triple, right? And he was like, we need to make rules so Eddie Simpson can stop stealing triples. Basically, this rule has to change for you. He then steals my triple hits it and then starts bragging about being the king of the triple on Instagram and I'm like fucking this guy's out of control <laughs> I, I, I I first and foremost you've stolen more triples off me than I've stolen off you that's that the fucking, is a that's a fact yeah. no look it up lie. look that up that's a fucking fact no of life. yes 1000 percent 1000 percent that guy did the fucking math that time and I'd stole the least amount of bets and you've stolen triples off me that's a fact that's a fact of life Sebo has as well but you definitely have so that's that. And to shit down my throat Masood style when I'm not even here to fucking try to prevent it is outrageous. I tried to and then you. and then I'm hearing that you steal off Tom and then brag about being the king of the triple is fucked up. What did I shit down his throat about again? He I don't stole he stole that. a triple off you. There was that a trip- we won on? Yeah. We won the trip we on um, oh, the manly right. one because Saab, I did Saab, shit down Saab, your throat. Saab, but that wasn't. But that wasn't me copying you. That was me listening to Rando, and I didn't like the fucking stats. What was the stat that really threw him? Uh, manly had never won against uh, West Tigers after six pm. I'm like, they're the stats that scare the fuck out of me. <laughs> Much like the Warriors never lose on the 31st of August. That like hooked that shit to my bones. We'll get to that. <laughs> but like that's when I took Manly 13 plus out. It wasn't about you, Rue. It was about his stat. Very so, misleading. All I'm saying is, I, I don't believe you for a second, but that's fine. I my I had the bet, but I also had Manly thirteen plus. I took Manly thirteen plus out because of fucking. Uh, it's on the real. It's on the real. He yeah, does yeah. say that the six p.m. kickoff time does scare him. All I'm saying is, you live under the wing, mate. That Rue, <laughs> <laughs> fucking please, <laughs> horseshit. <laughs> you shouldn't be gloating Check about a stolen triple. You shouldn't gloat about a stolen triple. That's all I say. Congratulations to Tommy Turbo. The cards will fix this. Yeah, the cards. Okay. What are these cards? Well, we don't know yet. <laughs> Not to mention a triple. I didn't even want to win. Oh, it was just about preventing shit. my draft Shut side up. from losing. So that's great. absolutely whatever. Uh, Sebo of when and doing accountability seems to me like doesn't want to run out of money. A lot of ninety dollar odds and shit in there. Uh, he had turbo two plus Burton two plus nothing doing. No. Uh, the Panthers 34 defeat the Rabbitohs 12. The time zone wigged me out. I was son of my cock. Didn't get a bet on. That's five bucks automatically down the shitter. Sebo, Paul Alamotti with the hatty. Doesn't score a try. <laughs> Jeez, I would have loved a try from Paul. Uh, <laughs> um, Rue had Edwards and Schneider. Schneider scores. Edwards doesn't. Tom had Garner and Alamotti. Alamotti doesn't score. The Lippy, who was just trying to fucking walk the line, it seemed, had the Panthers minus seven and a half. That hits. Congratulations. Well done. It's pretty selfish by the lippy, isn't it? 
walk the line, isn't it? Really fucking over. For well, if everything well, goes wrong, it depends does. how yeah. it goes. It depends yeah. how bad. Well, it is. we'll listen. We'll have to check the fucking check the tapes. Check the accountability. Eels forty four defeated the Dragons forty. No one saw this coming. If you saw this coming, you're talking shit. You just the Dragons win. They make the finals and they don't. This yeah. is a good bet from you, Rue. But Rue, take it away. Lomax, 14 plus points, tripled. Boys, this was perfect. I was on the sideline for this one at a box off my fucking head. I had Captain Lomax in every Supercoach team I have, and he scored about 16 points in the last 20 minutes. I don't remember most of it, mm. but Christ, I enjoyed it. I this forgot was, the bet yeah. was on, and then when I saw your un, your unnecessary gloating, uh, I was I was very jealous. It might be one of the better bets if you somehow were like live streaming yourself to cut up because it was all done, and like he was on like six points with like fifteen to go, yeah. and then he just went boom, 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 boom. Yeah, he scored a hundred super coach points in the last twenty minutes too. It was it was a great afternoon, sensational. Yeah. Uh, congratulations, Rue. The Lippy had yours plus two and a half, so someone saw it coming. Dollar ninety. Uh, Dolphins 40 defeated the Broncos 6. I read your message, uh, Rue, about you obviously best mates with Wayne Bennett. Mm. And you heard that Wayne had given him one of the great rev-ups all time. I believe he said it was the second most important game in the Dolphins' history after their initial game, their first game, their debut game into the, uh, into the first grade comp. So I follow that, that line of, of uh, thought, that train of thought. Dolphins plus 6.5. Herbie Farnworth, Bostock lets me down. Which is so scat at eight twenty four. Mm. You boys had ha- Herbies and Hammers, Hammers and Herbies with Stags two plus. Yeah. What was that about? Man, Boss has got a bit great. of that about him this year. He's let me down in some key moments as well. I mean, just like the, the trying to be great with the Stags. We were trying to be great yeah. with the Stags, but it was trying to be great. Honestly, that was what it was. It was just trying to be great. It was trying to have you come back and just realise that you're so far off the pace with everyone in terms of greatness. Yeah, and didn't it just didn't happen. happen. Didn't happen. I was almost happy to lose the bet because. Like, Wayne's not young, right? And maybe he can't put together a whole season winning comp. But I just love an old man in the fucking desert, like the Wild West, just been able to go, you know what? I can just completely fuck over you, Kevy, right now. Like, I've, I've still got a fight in me. Maybe mm. it's not a Premiership 27 round fight, but just like, I've got a bit of fight in me. I've got a bit of spite in me. Mm. I don't like you, Broncos. And just come out because. I don't think there'll be another generation of it. So I was happy to let my bet lose, but watch that happen. I was yeah. like, sick. 40 to 6 is yeah. fucking he, um, like He obviously didn't leave the Broncos on the greatest terms, and then he didn't leave Newcastle on the greatest terms either, and he gets to end their season this week too. Yeah. This yeah. is yes. Wayne's just wet dream. Yeah, he's like the death, you know that meme, yeah. death just knocking <laughs> at the door. It's fucking Wayne. Yeah, old man, old man Bennett. Warriors 30 defeated the Sharks 28. I saw the stat that Rando put up. Warriors have never lost on the 31st of August ever. And I'm just like, that's fucking so good. I obviously, I go Warriors at five bucks. Just, just, that's it. I was dismayed as fuck most of the game. And then they just roll, roll the fuck over the top of them late. Glorious stuff. Yeah. I thought I was going for my replacements, we can be heroes moment. But I found myself in Friday Night Lights where they actually lose the game. You know, um, a bit like it's an epic comeback. And you think they're going to win and fucking uh, Mike Winchell just can't get the job done. So, SJ, I, that's <laughs> obviously SJ letting down Sebo, the Edwards, Iro, yeah. and SJ yeah. doesn't score. Yeah. Look, close to an immortal bet if it comes 55-81. Off. Was but there a narrative, though? The narrative is that I've been chasing the fucking We Can Be Heroes moment for like three or but four did weeks. You, no, did you no, sell no, it that way? No, he didn't. I've still talked about the replacements every fucking second week. We were talking about the replacements. You didn't Because you, <laughs> you, know you know that narrative is a big component. We Can Be Heroes. I've been saying it for weeks. <laughs> did you say it when you sold bet. the bet? No. Well, then no, you don't. No. I'm sorry. Yeah. Why is SJ Heroes not an immortal bet? I think I did. No, you didn't. I think I did. Well, it didn't happen, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> On top of that, most of your bets are potential immortal bets at the moment. Yeah, exactly. They're but they've got, they need narrative. They don't. Have, mm. At some point, no. Odds, he's at, got to, odds at some point, they do not need narrative if the odds are high. No, if the odds are over 100, but you 55, don't need narrative. So the cutoff, yeah, the, the, the minimum no, is 50, but, so but, he's in narrative. But territory. taking it, like, if you've got a $50 bet with, say, six try scorers, but taking a, an outsider, a $5 outsider with a tiny bit of narrative, that's what gets you there because you're not just going, okay, I've well, got Well, really, I should have had an immortal bet when I got that uh, Olam 2 plus Tigers win. Let's be honest, that had narrative. It was only paying 30 bucks, but like, you know, that was narrative. It was a narrative. You, it was stole, you stole that off someone. It was narrative. There's a bit of narrative. It was narrative. There's a bit of narrative. narrative. Was, bit of narrative. Was, was bloody, uh, but it was unoriginal. Well, no, yeah. but it was Which original. carries no weight. Still 30 no, bucks original. as well. Yeah, like, 30 bucks. Yeah, yeah anyway. so it didn't make the grade. No, no. Sorry, mate. Uh, Knights 36 to beat the Titans 14. Nothing. Lippy minus nine and a half. That hits at a dollar ninety. Well done, Lippy. Sebo had Titans Ponga and Fafita. Fafita's 
He's done now. He's time. not. He he's he hasn't scored in fucking what seems like ten weeks, no. maybe longer. Uh, nothing doing. Nothing. A lot of reds. Uh, uh, Raiders fourteen defeat the Roosters twelve. I missed this one as well. Tom, you had Dom Young first, second, third, triple. triple. That fucked me. <laughs> that fucked me real hard. Three dollar dude. Yeah, dues. that was tough. I. Th- there's no way. Listen, it was tough. It was tough. There's nothing you can say. The game was uh, like. The game was pretty fucked by injury. Sam Walker goes off. You assume that Dommy Young scores first, second, or third in any game. Uh, I was trying to do something fantastic, and it didn't work for me. I live and die by the sword. Rue, on the other hand, had Raiders. He picked Raiders mm. head to head, and he had a uh, Xavier Savage. He also had Hudson Young, which let him down at seventeen seventy five, which would have been glorious. <laughs> I can't believe he didn't score in that. It's just it was set up perfectly for Hardy. I was filthy on that one. Yep, sucked in. Uh, unit scoopers. Tom had three from four. Titans couldn't get the job Dude, done. Dude, when JoJo went over first in that game, I was like, okay, yeah. okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep quiet here. I'm not gonna say anything. And then it just became an absolute domination. Uh, I had Turbo Bostock, Tongo, and Kinney. Kinney was ruled out. I got one of three legs. Rue, for some reason, got paid out. Lomax and Val, even though he had another try score that was playing, I can't Who remember. Who scored? Marju. That. Didn't he score? Nope. Didn't. Oh, okay. He didn't yeah. score. But anyway, he gets the 290. So he gets 2.9 units. Take All that. adds up. Uh, Sebo had two from four, felt Lomax, Stags, and Manu. Obviously, he had Kinney as well. That. It's not relevant. Libby had five of eight in his quest for the Azaki. And Rue in the hot seat. Does hit. Now, it is week seven this week. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Five bets required for glory. Do you go for gold? Or do you throw it knowing that there's What are you giving him fucking tactical advice for? Why don't you shut up? Mate, he's a... a, Why don't you just shut up? He's a grown man. Yeah, but exactly. I'm asking. So let the grown man just come up to to that himself. We had this discussion Uh, yesterday. I said, are you going to throw it, you fucking idiot? Shut the fuck up. I said, are you going to throw it or go for glory? They're the two options. Yeah, you just don't need to put that in his mind because he may have already had a dumb bet in his head. I think you got to go for it. Like... Mm. Yeah. Sometimes... Like, if you just fall... No one remembers just falling into $1,000. Yeah, Yeah. it's nice. I do. No one remembers though. In terms of people watching your punt, you know what I mean. Like you have an. I would say this: you have an opportunity to win, to fucking earn rather a baggy grain instead of just getting handed one like where you know it's just a bit weak. Oh, I forgot about the baggy green tied to it. That mm. yeah, like you could earn one. I don't give a or fuck you could just I get it. well, I get it. Uh, but you know what? If you, no, you win you know your soul. You know what? You'll be you'll right. be kicking yourself if you throw it and then someone else goes on a run and you never comes back to you where you go. You had the opportunity to to take destiny by the horns by the and balls. go. I'm fucking yeah. locking this in by the sack. And you've got and destiny in your hands now. If you throw destiny Destiny's to with it, you, yeah. I'm betting at nine <laughs> percent. <laughs> <laughs> Stick destiny. Yeah, uh, 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 yeah. Well, you're actually for a try this week. You're actually betting at. 10.12%, mate. So don't... Just, yeah, don't you know, shit down don't your masseuse masseuse yourself. Don't masseuse yourself. Weekly leaderboard, Rue. Rue statement week. Yeah. Uh, they say Saturday's moving day. Fucking Rue moved, baby. Three from nine bets. 16.99 units. That's fucking juiced. Yeah, that's good. The Lippy got five from nine bets. 5.17 units. Tom, one from nine. Minus 0.12. Sebo, zero okay. from nine. Minus 1.96. And I... Again, continue to slide. One from nine minus 4.8. Rue, 37.98 in the negative. Uh, he's starting to stretch the legs. He's probably about approx 18 units up on Tom at minus 55.86. A couple of units off you, Eddie, in terms of the uh, worst winning season ever. Well, mate, it's starting to put my fucking season into real contrast as one of the great seasons all time. Well, I don't know about that. I think Rue's bet percentage would suggest it's not. I think uh, plus 319 yeah. is one of the great plus seasons. Plus 83.21. I'll tell you what, if I, uh, if I well, do that. Yours is currently the, the worst only, the season only, of all time. The only time. season that was any good really was Sebo. Well, no, yours is the worst. Well, no, Michael but had a yours great is season. Yeah. The worst. Yeah. Yeah. Michael had a great season. <laughs> you didn't seem to do well. If I manage to hold on this year... That'll make us one championship for each of us. Next year's a big one. It's a big year. Well, yeah. I, t- I tell you, there's, there's still a bit of footy to play. Yeah, heaps of footy. How many, how many weeks? Five weeks to go. Six, five, six weeks. Five no, weeks to I will this not week. stop tripling. There you go. All right. uh, I'm minus 67.2. Lippy minus 73.19. And Sebo minus seven. Losing? No one's lost to the Lippy ever. Four. So that's, some, that's a bad... Has that's that never happened? No. I'm pretty sure I have, haven't I? No. no one's or did we not have him first season? Yeah, maybe we didn't. We didn't have the lippy first. No, yeah. Anyway. Oh, that's accountability. All right, let's get into some bets then. Let's get into some bets. First game, Broncos Storm. Suncorp 
Broncos at 5.20, real bed shit stuff for them. Storm $1.17. The line 15.5 and, and the total 51.5. For the first time today, random stats guy, what stats you got for us, brother? Uh, it's going to be dry at Suncorp for this game. The Broncos obviously missing a host of players. Payne Haas, uh, the headliner, uh, missing this week as well as Katoni Stag. So the Storm Ooh. full strength for this one. They've won their last 14 regular season games against the Broncos. They have scored 40 plus points against the Broncos at Suncorp in six of their last eight regular season games. The Storm points over under is 32.5 at $1.90, or you can get the Storm to score 41 plus points at $3.15. For try scorers, I'm looking at Jerome Hughes here. First, the narrative, if he man of the matches this game, surely he gets the daily M. Second, the daily stats M. suggest he is good. <laughs> he has scored nine tries in 11 games against the Broncos, including four in his last five. He is the Storm's top scoring try scorer at Suncorp uh, since 2020 with seven tries. And the Broncos left side defense has conceded 70% of their tries in the last five games. He's $2.85. Okay. All right there. Rue, what are you thinking, buddy? Uh, love that. I'm going to take a huge try, and I think the Storm win this by a big margin. I had the Storm to win by 30 to 40 points. Huge try, $15.21. Not bad. Sense. Eduardo. I, uh, we all know what scope bet is, which is all the wingers. Uh, I'm not going to take any Brisbane winners because they fucking suck. So I'm just going to take the Storm wing wingers and I'm going to add in my favourite player right now, Tyron Wishart, mm -hmm. because he's the hottest thing in rugby league and yep. it's just not even close. 948. Sebo? I'm taking a mini double, which is paying like 850. Okay. Uh, for a centre in what's probably going to be a humping. Or like at least a pumping, eight fifty. Put a thumping a, or a thumping. I think it's. I, I'm mixing up my humping, thumping, pumpings. To be honest, yeah, but it's there, confusing. There's a we fisting. We need a chart probably behind. There's a fisting. So yeah, just need, I almost yeah. want it just like yeah. written there. Yeah, we should have a chart. So I can yeah. be we'll very aware and not mix up. Yeah, um, we'll but uh, yeah, like 30, 40 points. I think Ruse on the money there. So I like I Katoa. Like he's been scoring a fair bit as well, just off Hughes. Many a double and Katoa is thirty four ninety one. It's not a bad bet. I know mm. I'm betting to like. Reserve money, but that's not that bad. It's not no, that bad. Not that bad. Mainly loves the double. I'm going hard at this game just in terms of if it's going to be a, a hump and pump and thumping or whatever. It's, you know, there's. there's Is there another one? Is there a fourth one? Hump and pump and thump and then there's like. Air cream pie because I think the guy's been. Making, <laughs> <laughs> I think the guy who's been making the chart had to make him up. Yeah, he had to make him up because there's been there's some big ones. 20 plus, 30 plus, 40 points. Yeah. And then there's been a, a 50 and a 60. So he so made. So what's the cream pie? 60. 60 or is that a fisting? Well, the, uh, we'll have to double check. I think the fisting's 50 and the cream pie. I'm pretty sure. It somewhere. Cream pie. Getting cream pies. No, <laughs> cream pies reserved. Well, like it depends. <laughs> like if you're in a cream pie, you're loving it. Yeah. Listen, this could be a cream pie. I've got Storm minus 15 and a half. And then Katoa Wishy Hughes Grant, 71.95. This could be one of those creamies. It'd be great to get one. Um, so yeah, it'd be good to get like betting on a cream pie and get yeah. one. And get one. That's an immortal. Just a clean, yeah, of course, a, a clean cream pie. If you just, if yeah. you just get, yeah. if you just get a clean cream, <laughs> so you just like cream pie, cream pie, plus. and they're sixty plus, and you get it, you're an immortal. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm sorry. Oh, no, 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 easy, no, absolutely. absolutely. Easy. Anyway, that's yeah. seventy one ninety five. Who's our lippy, and what's he betting on? Uh, his name, I've written it down somewhere, is Jay Peckler. Jay Peckler getting uh, Jay Peckler. married this weekend. Uh, his thirtieth this weekend. Had a couple of good bets, nothing close to an immortal bet, but I thought, hey. Give the guy a wedding present. Mm. Um, that's yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Uh, what's he doing? He is he checking his phone when he's getting fucked when she's walking down the aisle. Like. <laughs> 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 Storm thirteen plus Grant Meany Wishy twenty seven ninety three. That's a good bet. It's a good bet. That's a good bet. Yeah, a good that's bet from Joe. That's a good bet. It's a good start from the young fella. Jay like J A E. As oh, well. that's so, yeah, that's yeah. rugby league. Yeah, that's rugby league. We like rugby league. Uh, Joe. Uh, next is the Spoon Bowl Tigers v the Eels uh, in Campbelltown. Two twenty for the Tigers, dollar sixty seven for the Eels, two and a half the line, fifty three and a half the total points. Rando Spoon Bowl stats, please. Spoon Bowl, the eighth edition of such a playoff. It's the first since the Panthers and the Knights in twenty fifteen. In the seven editions, the last place team going into the game has won three out of those seven. 
but the team above them has won three of the last four Spoon Bowls as well. So looking at Para there. But then you've got the Tigers. They're looking for three straight wins for the first time since 2018, and they've won two of their last three games against Western Sydney teams. For try scorers, there are two $2 scorers here. First, you've got Guffo. He scored five tries in his last five games, five tries in his last five games against the Tigers, and the Tigers have conceded six tries in the last four games to fullbacks. He's $2. 10 and then you have Blaze Talungi. He comes up against Josh Folletti. Now poor Folletti, he has played in two games where the Tigers have conceded a combined 96 points against them. Shit. His opposing edge players have scored a double on him in each game. So Blaze Talungi left centre running at uh, Folletti for this one is good value at 235. Okay. With the greatest respect to Josh Folletti. Okie dokes there. Well, I will kick us off here. I think the Tigers win the Spoon Bowl. I don't know why. I just I think it's more a want than I think. I would love the Tigers to win. We're doing a live stream for that, actually. Myself, Streety, and Cody Totes making his live stream debut. Hopefully, he's not blackout drunk like <laughs> usual, but he probably may He may want to be. Um, so, I've gone Tigers to win. Samuel Afai now because he is just someone that Manly could have used and I'm just really happy to see that we've let him go. And then Talangi, another person who should have been held onto by his team but has been let go. And he didn't score last week, so I'm hoping that he fucking gets over this week, right? This isn't a double tap. This isn't, a, this isn't an Oliver Twist here. So for the Tigers, Afai now and Talangi, 1794. I... I would love for the Tigers to win. I think that everyone sort of silently barracks for them a little bit just because you don't like someone getting just beaten the fucking piss out of them when they're on the ground, prone and unconscious. It's just, no. there's, it's, 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 it's not human. It's not it. human, you know what I mean, to want that. You want the ref to come over, shield the body, protect, and, you know, conserve life, as it were. Unfortunately for the Tigers, I find that they are in that prone position. This is a street fight. This is going out to the alleyway, and you've got a sick fuck who's just looking to, to inflict pain. And I just, I don't see any other way than that. I just, I just can't see it. I think the Eels are a better side, and I think they will win. And I think we see the Tigers go three spoons in a row, and I think we see Benji under pressure, and I think we all go, fuck, that was cool to Benji to throw him into this position when he hasn't coached more than one fucking season in his life. Here you are, Benji. Fix it for us, mate. It's just, I just see that. Mm. I also see the director of Balmain going, we want to loop the fucking, the, 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 the you know, the union, the merger. What? And then just not be in the comp ever again, you dopey cunt. Like, it, there's just too many, there's just too much stupidity around. I just can't see a way out of it for the Tigers. I'm sorry. I just can't see it. I'm going to take the eels. I had Pensini. I had come to a lungy. Fuck those cunts off. I'm going blaze to a lungy two or more. If he's running it, if he's running it, something like that, uh, 1241. Okay. Okay, Sebo, I've just spied your bet. Yeah, I might actually <laughs> pause you for a second and go to Rue. Yeah, uh, I had Dill Brown and Galvin, ball running 5-8. I think there'll be plenty of points scored in this one and not much defence. Uh, and I'm going to chuck in a blaze to Lungy as well, going up against Josh Felody there. Jesus. 35, 98. Are we all on? We're all yeah. on. We're uh, all on blaze. Okay. Oh, fuck me dead. Sebo, what is going it's on? It's so lippy. So does that count, uh, I think? No, that means it's even worse. It's even That's worse. Even worse. <laughs> That's even worse. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what's going on? Uh, look, we talked about immortal, uh, like I just get to a certain point where you don't need narrative, so I can just throw this bet down as automatic immortal bet for me, but I'll still give you narrative. <laughs> um, <laughs> so basically, Galvin, a lot of talk about Galvin, you know, he's going to be a rep player, like he's just going to run hard, and I think he's a t like, didn't Para let him go, he couldn't get a start at Para or something like that, mm -hmm. future fight, like immortal 5-8 maybe, going, you guys, oh, Jesus you guys, uh, let me go, let me just fucking run harder, you Appy, Appy's been scoring a fair bit, hasn't he? Like, just like he scored against Manly, he scored the week before that. Listen, I don't know. If He's in a bit of form. Uh, <laughs> like, Galvin could be an immortal, and Appy scored, Appy recently. scored yeah. recently. Yeah, oh, wow. So yep. you are yeah. giving us narrative. Yeah. Thank, thank so because when my immortal bet's up on that board over there, and you go, and Galvin gets inducted to fucking being an immortal in like 80 years or something, <laughs> and there'll be someone there. I mentioned that. That's like one of those old fucking honour boards at those private schools that are like 700 years old, yeah, right. and there's like history. And on. That's so how you get on that thing over there. You don't just get on there just shitting on everyone's bed. You actually fucking <laughs> back yourself and make bold claims. Okay. Galvin Appy, they go over. They're my Tigers guys. Because this could just be a point -a -thon. I don't know. And then Brycey C. 
Me and Bryce you see, I, I can rely on him when I need him. You know what I mean? He's like a little, like he just comes in there. He's a little kind of, I don't know, like, I'm not, like, what's the other word for like, like a little slutty? You know what gigolo. I mean? Like, gigolo. Yeah, a little bit of gigolo about him. You know what I mean? Bring him in here and he can get into his work. Blaze. Everyone's get on Blaze. Big low about him. And then Gutho. Gutho's not going to try get us. Like Gutho. Gutho's the one guy who's going to be like, I am giving up my all. I'm busted. I'm playing busted, but I don't want to get a spoon. That's five try scorers right there who all have scored multiple times this year, who all have their own story going into it, except Bryce, you say, here's my little gigolo on the side. <laughs> and then that gets you 335.86. I will be triple staking it. I'll be quad staking it if I can because the outlay is like <laughs> fucking a cent, right? Yep. The outlay is like a cent. Okay. Um, so that's my triple staked right there. Watch this come off. And yeah. people fucking just going, you know what? Who gives a shit who won it? Because that's the best bet of all time. And you guys got on it with me. <laughs> well, you will. You have guys won. got it on with me. Well, you will have won if that's if that bet. No, I don't because I could only oh, win $150. Right. You don't oh, understand how the game yes. works. yes. No, no. Matt, uh, that. Tom of still not understanding. Still doesn't get it. Still, still doesn't oh, get it. Dude, well, how do you not win it. with that big game? <laughs> <laughs> Thank God we have a lippy bet to go to. Uh, what is he doing? He's taking Tigers, Galvin and Blaze. It's crazy, it's bro. Insane. It's fucking <laughs> mad. Mate, I was looking at it like a fucking. And uh, Sebo's like, scooper. I'm going to triple it because fucking, you know, like uh, the outlay session was like, mate, it gets up. You uh, win the You win the bloody game. You win the whole thing. <laughs> we're showing uh, to a game of cards and Tom's rolling dice. You're just like, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, try to explain a game to him. <laughs> Listen, I am who I am, and yeah. I, I make Tom no goes apologies. to me like, why don't you invite me over to, to Qatar nights when you have them? <laughs> why do you fucking think, mate? Firstly, that's not a question I've ever asked. A Qatar night? Are you fucking kidding me, dude? Oh, that's so good. <laughs> that's one of the great lies ever told. Invite me to your Qatar night. Well, you mentioned it. Well, I haven't done one in years. Are but you yeah. kidding me? Qatar night? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, that's how I'm going to spend my spare time on a fucking Qatar night. You're off your head. We will move on, though. <laughs> Qatar. Uh, we've got Roosters Rabbitohs at a core stadium. Big, big shithole, that place. $4 for the Rabbitohs, $1.25 for the Roosters. 13 and a half the line, and the total 53 and a half points. Both teams fucked here, Rando. What's going on? Uh, it's going to be dry for this one. Uh, worth mentioning that when uh, these two teams played last time, Sandon Smith was starting in the halves. The Roosters went on to win 48 points to six earlier this year against the Bunnies. The Roosters, they've also won four of their last five Friday night games this year. They've won 10 of their last 11 Friday 8 p.m. games against bottom eight opponents with their last four wins by 20 plus points. So I still don't mind the Roosters 13 plus for try scorers. Dom Young is paying $3.20 for first, second, or third. He usually is around that $2.80 mark, so higher than usual. He is the top first, second, third try scorer in the comp with a 47% strike rate. Hey. He has scored first, second, third in the three games he has played against the Bunnies, and the Bunnies have conceded a first, second, or third try to a right wing in five of their last six games. I know you didn't hit with him last time, Tom. Surely give him a second chance here. Well, I, I am actually already on him again, first of all. <laughs> I, thought, I, uh, I thought, you know, because it didn't happen last week, surely it does. But I've also thrown in an Angus Crichton first, second or third as well. It's not really paying that much, considering I need uh, both of those things to happen. That's paying uh, fuck all. <laughs> yep. So, fuck it. I'll stick with it, because then it'll probably happen if I get off it. But now it won't happen, because I am on it. Dommy and AC, first, second or third, 17.69. And so, technically, you should get off it, though. I know, but then I get like, off cause, it. Yeah, but if you get, get off, off, it'll hit. Yeah. But, it, but, but if you're on it, Wayne hits. You may as well get off and pick someone else. No, nah, fuck it. I'll just stick with it. Okay. Because if, if it does hit, I'll hate myself. But it won't. Yeah, I know, because I'm on it. But <laughs> then, you know, for it right. to be on it and not hit. No, no, I was, just, I was just, just working that through. No, I appreciate you, mate. What are you doing? Uh, I don't, well, like, I don't know. I didn't know what I was going to do. I didn't know who was going to fucking win this game. Sam Walker goes down. The Roosters looked like shit last week. The Rabbitohs, you know, the Book of Feuds, all that crap. Wasn't sure, and when I don't, when I'm not sure, when I'm in doubt, I go hot. That's I've always done that. It's just how I live. I've lived my life. When in doubt, go hot. Connor Watson, the nine jersey on, he goes the fuck in. And Joey Manu, who is just such a fucking specimen, eight ninety two, just for a little double up, just a little hot boy double up, little sandwich. I'll hop in the middle. You know what I mean? Root. Uh, I like the Bunnies for an upset here. I'm going to take them 1-12 to 12 in this one. And with Jack White now, I just think everything will go through Cody Walker. Uh, so I'm going to take him for an anytime try scorer. $13.16. I think the Roosters are in a little bit more trouble than what people are expecting. Mm. Does that upset you? 
Not in the slightest. But you're a Roosters fan. you're a Roosters fan. fan. No, I'm a fan of the game, boys. Whatever's know. best for what, the game. Listen, dude, Buzz am. Rothfield happily acknowledges that he's a he's a Sharks fan. Why don't you just acknowledge that you're a Roosters fan? Because I'm not a Roosters fan. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. I'm a huge Roosters jersey flag fan. Bullshit. <laughs> you are one of the great Roosters fans. Sebo. I'm... I think this is actually a pretty good bet for 1962. I, you don't know what's going to happen in rugby league in general, like in terms of who can win what. But plus 13 and a half for the bunnies when you tie like a book of feud style game into it, like that's almost like a plus 17 and a half if you ask me, because that like it's all about just getting up for a game sometimes, and the bunnies are going to get up for this last game of the season. Roosters limping injured guys out so i'm just taking plus 13 and a half there dommy first second or third as rando said as tom said and then just to cody walker just to bounce on the ball to go his way at some fucking point 1962. as i'm observing this i actually think and i'm not going to change my bet i think the roosters beat the shit out of the rabbitos the rabbitos are just surely they're just like over everything they're like just get me out of this season i'm I'm sure book a feuds like we don't have any good players so like what are we going to do Whitens out as well as Cam Murray. The fuck are you going to do with that side? The Roosters still have a very good rugby league team. Why do you think they're in trouble? I just think that Sam Walker has covered up a lot of problems they've had in attack this year. I think without Sam Walker, they would have been in trouble on a number of occasions this year. And I think South Sydney have been treading water for the last few weeks. I think they've had their eyes on this game and Mad Monday for weeks. I just think they'll get up for it. Okay, yeah, pre Wayne, like, hey Wayne, we still got a bit of fight in us last game. What are you trying to lose to certain player? Because it's a dollar eighty eight. I don't need that it's heat in my life. I've got Dommy and AC, baby. <laughs> you got to, you got to, you got to fucking, you, you got to chase cover, you down. Come out. Hey, you can chase him down. Hey, I'm chasing down when you, I'm chasing down. I've already got some. Someone who doesn't understand tactics, hey, you need mate, to chase. Wait, wait you and see what chase. my bets are. You need to chase. Wait and see what my bets are before you start. All right, now the Lippy, whose name everyone has forgotten, uh, he's gone bunnies, uh, bunnies 11 and a half, plus 11 and a half, Gussie C and Gagai, 9.55. That bet puts me to sleep, it sorry. Does. Yeah, it's yawn. Listen, dude, don't show your wife that bet at the altar. She might leave you. <laughs> uh, How we- confident are you that the Roosters get a big win here? Mm. I mean, I, I think that they win. I think they win well. I don't know how confident. What are you? What are you saying to me, mate? If you triple Roosters thirteen plus, I will triple South head to head. I don't. Uh, okay. The line's thirteen point five anyway. It's pretty. Yeah. So you'll just go South to win. Yeah, yeah I'll triple it. Or you could just triple the line. Mano, no, no, that's him, mano a mano. Let him go the win, mate. Yeah, do you want to do that? Do you want to go the line head to head? Oh, oh, you you tell me. Fuck it, let's do it. Let's okay, so yeah, 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 yeah. It's a lineup. Yeah, line let's do it. Fair. Lineup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Triple Sorry. in the line. Yeah, yeah. Roosters How many triples can I have a week? Two or three? Two. Okay. Roosters so don't play. That's just a pure line. It's a pure line triple. Yeah, sweet. I like it, Rue. I like okay, it. Good. Huge breadcrumb for Gussie Crichton and Dom Young to score first. I'll be having third. a civilian <laughs> on that. Don't worry about that. So you guys are taking this is huge. either side of the line. Yeah. That's a fifteen it's essentially a fifteen unit swing. Yep. Sure is. Yeah. Let's dance, Tommy. Let's fucking do it, Ru. Big trouble for you, buddy. Huge trouble. Um, all right. Let's move on. I'm excited about that. I um I just encourage both of you to get that bet on soon because if you fucking if the line changes, It's gonna be confusing. It's gonna be confusing. Yeah. We just want purity. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't I'm not even anti you putting it on right now. Okay. Just if we want to just just get them on. So I'm bunny's plus thirteen point yes. five. And yep. he's minus cool. setting it up. I just want I wouldn't I wouldn't mind getting that on. Yep. Yeah, I think I'm it's on. a good point. I think it's a good point. Because the fucking line will come to 10 and it'll be fucked the whole thing. It won't be fun anymore. Yep. Yep. All right. Line here. Roosters. Where do you two sit on that? What do you reckon? As in what I reckon. Mate, honestly, that's why my bet is Connor and Joe when in doubt go hot is I have fucking no idea. Anything I hear happen. what you're saying, yeah. but I'm also like, surely the Roosters. But even if the Roosters come in third, get the fuck up. Do they need to win this game for anything? No, like yeah. home final. Home final. They need puts the pressure on the Panthers to beat the Titans. Well, they'll do that. Like, so Panthers will beat the Titans. So say but, that. Uh, hey, but I, but I, no, but I'd say this knows. as well. I'd say this as well. If they win, then they at least get to go out to Penrith instead of going to Melbourne, which yeah. would be a fucking cunt. I'm just saying, is there a thing where say they're up by 14? 
and they start getting a bit yipped out that they don't want anyone else to be injured and mm-hmm. just kind of take their foot off for a little bit where they're like, okay, we've, we've, we've worked. It's a new yeah, yeah. combination. No, nah, they're going to they're nah. fucking come out and hump. Watch they'd it. have to change tack because that, that's their team for the finals now. Yeah, they've got to come no out and get like, connect, some game have a time under the belt. Yeah. Huge trouble for Rue here. We love that. That's a great decision from everyone. Let's move on, though, before he tries to change his mind. Um, Those bets on? Bets are on. They're on. Bets are on. Dragons, Raiders, no one cares game uh, at Net Strata Jubilee of no one cares oval. $1.70 for the Dragons, two fifteen for the Raiders. The line, three and a half. Total points, 51 and a half. Rando. Absolute bludger of a game to punt on this one. It's going to be a tight affair. The Dragons, of course, going down to the Eels. Doesn't bode well for them because three of the four teams to lose to the Eels this year have lost the following week. However, the Dragons, they have won all five games they have played at Netstrata Jubilee on Saturday during the day. So they are undefeated (laughs) during the day on a Saturday at Netstrata Jubilee. Who is the Dragons? The Dragons. Five out of five. Saturday during the day. Yeah. For try scorers, Matt Tomoko is at $3.40 here. Whilst he's only scored four times this year, he has scored three tries in his last two games uh, against the Dragons, and the Dragons have conceded six tries to right edge outside backs in their last three games. Sebo, how are you saying this, mate? Unders has fucked my season uh, at about <laughs> round 12. Also, the Rabbitohs not winning because if someone can go back and find my positive and negative weeks with Rabbitohs wins, I, just, I really want to see this correlation. But Unders has fucked my season. Every game at the moment almost is going overs. I don't know why. Does anyone have any insight to that? Like, there's so many points at, at this point in time. So that makes me think, go Unders one last time. You know, see you again. Fucking Fast and Furious 7 little split the um, highway with it because this might be the last time I'm ever going on Unders. Uh, under 50. 51 and a half. In a game, like, who knows what's going to happen? Like, the Dragons usually bounce back to some extent, but if you've just come off that sort of loss, who knows? Ricky, I think, is going to get the Raiders up. I was wrong about him the other week, saying how many times he can get him up when it's a lost cause, but Ricky's proved me wrong. I think he's still going to go, let's just finish on a high. We can't go Penrith Roosters and lose to the Dragons. Yeah. Um, so that defense will be up. So under 51 and a half, Huddy. Huddy always scores last in every game, pretty much. Why not for him to score? Uh, like, he'll score a try, probably last. I'm not betting on it to be last in his last game. And Moses Sawley, 24-83. Not a, like, not a bad odds for a game where I'm going to be watching Rings of Power instead of watching this thing. Is Rings but, of Power any good? I heard it, well, the first one. Can uh, be look, it depends who you ask. It depends who you ask. Like, obviously, it's not in line with the law because uh, they don't have the rights to, the, like, the main book. Uh, it, it, it's just, for me, like, on the weekend, I was at Trusillian Sleep Clinic where I wasn't allowed to close sleep with the babies and my baby waking up every seven minutes, so I just watched the new season of Rings of Power all night. That's all I did because I couldn't go to sleep? sleep. Because I can't, because he would just wake up straight away and they'd have to rock him. So I, hadn't, I, had the I thought you said you weren't down. allowed to. No, I can rock him standing up. I can't lie down with him. Oh, so okay. uh, I was just watching Rings of Power, like three episodes on release over an hour each. I was like, fucking cheering. Just give me something. Like, okay, give me yeah. something. So I got into it. Fucking Sauron is a fucking mean motherfucker okay. when he's uh, when he's playing a human. You know what I mean? So any Rings of Power fans out there, I'm sure there are none. <laughs> um, but if you are into it with me, let's speak. Not really, but by the time. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, yeah. do not contact do me. Do not message me at all. Stop my damn. Okay, so what are you doing? So what the fuck are you doing? Uh, under 51 and a half, Huddy Sully, 2483. Oh, okay. Good for a game where I'm going to be watching Rings of Power gotcha. instead. Sorry. That's what I said. <laughs> sorry. Um, I'm going Raiders. I just think the Dragons are fucked and they're probably disheartened. And then I'm just going for a bit of a try scorer uh, humping here. Huddy, KO, Timiko, 28 44. Yeah, I think Hope left the building last week. The Dragons, they get the job done against the Eels. They play finals footy. They didn't. They're out, they're, they're out now, essentially. Uh, I think there needs to be a draw in the Fish fucking Knights game. It's not going to happen. They fucking shit the bed and they will know it. They'll go out there and they'll be weak and pathetic and they'll get rolled by the, the Raiders. You've got their tails up. Two big wins in a row. I'm going to take Raiders plus three and a half just for extra cover, just because I'm putting in KO weeks. Eight tries from 16 games. He's 235, so the math works out for me. 381, I'm tripling it. I'm tripling it. Okay, tripling. Kids tripling. Kids tripling. I like the Dragons in this one. Oh, yeah, I think the Raiders, they got off against Penrith. They got up against the Roosters. 
Rapana, Whitehead, neither of them are playing now. I think there was a lot of emotion going into that. I reckon the Dragons at home get up for this one. I reckon Lomax has a bit of a day out again. <sighs> Fuck you, girl. $2.40 for him to score more tries than Hopawate. Albert. Thanks for coming. Yeah. I, geez, 240 you're, you're Lomax. scaring me with these late season bets of yours. Yeah. Like, they're I looked at Lomax anytime. He's $1.60. Oh, I don't think Hopawate is going to cross. Bad. I get $2.40. But if they get one each, it's like obviously. That, that's where you get more, your juice from. Than. I just, I yeah. can't see Hopawate scoring. So I'm going to take Lomax, $2.40, triple. What's Lomax paying to score a try? $1.60. Okay. Not enough. Not enough. No. Yeah. No, it's a good bet. Start, start, it's 240 start. Yeah. It's a good bet. It's a good bet. But hey, it's a good bet. A There's good no bet. point in the lying. Kids, the kids betting well. It's like those sort of bets. But you the really dragons have to could work get hard to find. You yeah. know what I mean? Like a lot of well, us you've got to, simpletons you've... are like, oh, total points and try scorer. Yeah, like, yeah. Hattrick. <laughs> yeah, great. That, How long yeah. does it take to find that market? <laughs> uh, well, they're not hard to find. They're not that hard. It's not hard to find. find. No, but it's harder to it. find. Like if you've got to find than any time try scorer, which is where you've spent the whole year. Yeah, but you know, don't you go in there and you fucking you find like. Try score score and find, yes. find the market. Okay, I will. Can Three, I tell you a story about this well, how, market? Well, you, am I giving you time or what? Yeah. You get like fucking well, I'm waiting for it to load. You see the try score markets. You're watching me. Do you want to exactly. click Exactly. It? It's harder to find. Oh, shut the fuck up. Okay, you're struggling. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> player points. Here we go. Let's see. It's here. There is a player markets. Maybe it's player markets. <laughs> Mate, what the fuck? It's like you, if you're perusing So you're this, saying no, this no, is no, the no, same? No, no, I want to see how long it takes. Okay. To have one plus tries combined, one plus tries combined, two tries combined. We've got to play markets. Hey, what's going on? No, that's not it. <laughs> Try score a combo market. That's right. I'll turn it handicap scoring markets. Rue, any help here, brother? It's in try score markets. That's what it? I thought. <laughs> Yeah, bloody putting pressure. See, it's not loading, mate. Like, I can't fucking load this thing. I can't load Boy it. Proven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Boy it's proven. not. Yes, it is. It's, Boy, no, it's, it's not. been proven. Because it's harder to find than just it's at any time. It's been proven. Of course it's harder. To, That's it's, the whole point. It's harder to find. It's try scorer hard. markets. Most tries. It's harder hard to find. Idiots. Most tries. There you go. Easy. Done. It's most tries. It's right like a good there. fishing hole, you know what I mean? If you want to find a good where mate, the fish are, they're harder to find. That was The thing was not opening. Point Always, the point was it's harder to find than any time try score, which is why we never of do these bets. Of course it's harder. But the fact that that's, he does well, what we said. implies that he's done. Hey, he's do you know, where first, the do you know where first, second or third try scorer is found? In the exact same fucking tab, dickhead. If you don't, think, if you don't, think, if you don't think that that is a, I'm thinking outside the, the of box. Course yeah. no, no, of course it point. is. Of course it is. Of course it is. That's the point. You were point. saying how hard it was to find. It's in the exact well, same tab. said it's harder and it took you 10 minutes. No, that was loading. That was a loading issue. And you still didn't get there. No, I didn't. That was loading. You asked Rufus help yeah because it was loading <laughs> right okay okay <laughs> great bet Ru. Uh, <laughs> what's the lippy doing uh, uh huddy ko lomax two plus 25 63 yeah i don't not too bad yeah it's okay uh is everyone gone yeah, yeah. sweet dogs cows this is at a core as well Tough. Dollar seventy five for the dogs, two ten the cows. Two and a half is the line. Forty seven and a half. Total points, Rando. What do you got? Uh some big outs for the dogs, obviously missing Bronson Cherry, but the big one, Matt Burden missing for this game. He's only missed two games for the dogs since joining them. Uh they've won one and lost one. They won earlier this year without him, thirty two to two against the Knights in the pouring rain at McDonald Jones. But that doesn't scare me, though, because the Cowboys, of course, knocked over the minor premiers last week without breaking a sweat. And it's not a fluke, as they have won their last six games against opponents in the top eight at that time. No, Manly don't count because they were ninth when you beat us, so not counting that one. So six straight wins against top eight teams. Tough one for try scorers, though. Obviously, the Dogs' greatest defense in the comp, but... You can look at Kyle Felt here. He scored nine tries in his last five games, and the Bulldogs have conceded four tries to right-wingers in their last four games. Or you can look at the Fox, who scored 11 tries in 11 games against the Cowboys. And the Cowboys, they have conceded 61% of their tries in the last five games down their right side. Okay, now, before I pass on to Eddie, just want to let everyone know that I was looking in the Bulldogs-Cowboys game and I was looking for Lomax, so that's why I couldn't find it as quickly. Uh, that's by the by. You still couldn't find the market. That's by find the market. The, no, I could find the market. I was looking at Jarrell yeah, Skelton yeah. against someone else, and obviously that was confusing. Eddie, what are you betting on here, buddy? Um, 
Just Critter and Preston, literally, just because I like the fucking players. Jacob Preston, I've always been a big fan of. I saw him cross the chalk last week, a bit jealous. I got a bit jealous. I did. I did. There's no denying it. I got jealous. Uh, Stephen Crichton's an absolute fucking beast. 784. The Cowboys suck. I just want you to know that. That they suck and that they're a disgrace to the top eight. I just want you to know that. Four straight wins. I just want you to know that. That they're a disgrace to the top eight. And we almost certainly play each other week one of the finals and you're going to get fucking pounded and it's going to be hilarious. Unfortunately, we're we're, we're playing eighth place, so it doesn't really matter. You're going to come fifth, are you? Yeah, we're going to win this game, finish fifth. We How far do you think it. you can go, genuinely? Genuinely? Yeah. If we finish, uh, I reckon we can get at least one game in to the finals. I Semis. reckon I reckon this is what's going to happen. You're going to lose this game and you're going to verse Manly, hopefully at home, and you're going to get pumped. That's what no, I think is going to happen. That's not going to happen. Yep, I agree with that. Uh, <laughs> I've gone Talangi, Nanai, Critter, Preston, 45-56. Just a bit of a double-ender. A double-double-ender, if you will. Seba? Double-double-ender. Mm. So you just like sharing? Well, listen, it's probably something you need a special mould to make, um, but it'll be interesting to see how it goes. Be like an X. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Like, yeah, yeah, Like a tyre iron, but like a gel. <laughs> do, you, do, you, do you need four? Yes, you do. You need four, you need four <laughs> willing participants. You need four <laughs> willing participants, or, or, or just orifices, really, I guess. <laughs> well, I suppose you could just have um, your four, four lady. Or well, two, just two ladies. Well, you, that's exactly right. Or men. Mm, bit harder. Well, but you just what's just about the size of it then really in the end of the day. <laughs> um point. Oh, <laughs> a good point. I'm gonna just take doggies to win. I didn't know Vernon wasn't playing, though. but the cows, like I wanna actually like the cows, but they're just so No one likes the like, cows. Not even cows. not even I don't know what the words boys. are. Like I just don't know what it is. Like they're annoying. Individually, I like all the players, but as a whole, it's just the they cows, just, they, like, just, they make me feel a bit queasy. They're, just, yeah. they're like a bit Dude. seedy or something. Nothing cool about them. No offense. Yeah, they're not cool. They're very much like, so cool. you know, jersey tucked into the jeans, big belt. They used to be cool. They used, they to, be cool. used to be really cool. Yeah, they used yeah. to be they're real seedy cool. now. Not cool anymore. Like, they're, they're not nerds, but they're, the, they're not cool. No, they're just not cool. They're not cool. They're um, the neckbeards of the NRL right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, pretty much. They're just, lingerers. It's like, <laughs> yeah, they yeah. linger. They're yeah. 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 People get marched from parties all the time. Like, go you got to go, dude. Go you're away. fucking abu- like, you're <laughs> you're annoying, annoying people. And the doggies, I can get around the doggies. Uh, <laughs> oh, I love the, the doggies. doggies are cool, dude. The doggies are cool. Oh. Like, oh, my sleep clinic was out in Belmore, dude. Hell of a place. Um, love the doggies. Critter and Billy Kick. I'm going to take those two guys. Critter's, like, we know he's score. Billy Kick, maybe with. Um, <laughs> But now it's not that good. But what I've realised is kick. maybe is that just the name thing, isn't it? It's uh, a, yeah, Billy Kick. Yeah, <laughs> that, yeah. like that's that's basically it. It's just I haven't heard Billy Kick. <laughs> Sometimes you catch me off guard with this. <laughs> it's a great name. It's a great name. It is like it just it Crit just up Billy Kick. Yeah, yeah. just <laughs> um, he's like he's he's a monster. So I don't, maybe if Burton's out, it's not a big thing. He can just run over because uh, Cow's defence fucking sucks. And then Kyle felt the oxycontin. In case you can't tell, I've been sick for fucking six months. I need some of that. Shit. So get that to my veins. Twenty six ninety one. Doggies critter felt Billy kick. I've got a first, second, or third of second hardest market of all time to find fame. I've got <laughs> Kyle Felt. Uh, if I am the Cowboys, I wouldn't be going. I wouldn't be attacking Critter's edge, so I'd go the other side. And I think Skelton, the other edge, is where I'd be attacking for the doggies. So those two to score first, second, or third. Eighteen dollars twenty six cents. I don't mind that. Yeah, it's not bad. I don't mind it. Okay. I don't mind it, bro. Uh, really. Lippy, Nanine, Critter, 573. Not enough, mate. You know, this time of year, you got to be fucking blowing your odds out. Something ridiculous. Uh, you, surely. Lord Alamo. Panthers, Titans. <laughs> Panthers, Titans. Paul. Paul. <laughs> uh, what is it about Paul Alamo? Alamo. Dollar one <laughs> for the Panthers. 680 for the Titans is out at Penrith. 19.5 the line. 51.5 total points. This game, just like, you could honestly, I don't think anyone would care if you were just like, can we just give the Panthers the fucking win? And just not and play Alamo this game at all. And Alamo a try, yeah. No you pressure, Randy. You got the Alamo yeah. yeah. stats? Uh, no Alamo stats this Great. week. Apologies. You've got to be kidding me, Sorry. Man. Um, no what, Paul stats. That's no Paul stats. 
Uh, the Panthers, uh, they haven't lost to the Titans at home since 2016. They've also won their final home game of the regular season by 18 points plus each time since 2019. So I don't mind them to cover that 19 and a half line for try scorers. Mm. The left side looks good here, except for Paul Alamotti. The Titans have conceded a try to a halfback in their last three games. So you can chuck in Jerome Luai. They've also conceded six tries to left second rowers in their last five games. So Scotty Soz at $3.70 is enticing too. Love that. No Alamotti. Love that. Well, I'm, I've got, I, listen. You go look at my bloody my tapes right now. I got Sorensen and Luai. Now I do have an Alan Moddy <laughs> as well, uh, which I'm going to keep in because if you remove him, he scores. So fuck it. But Sorensen, Luai, Alan Moddy, twenty eight sixty six. Who gives a shit if this doesn't get up? Really, fucking who cares? Uh, the panel has tipped Alan Moddy for a grand total of seven tries <laughs> yep. in this game, and I'm going to put my hand up for two of them. Okay. Alan Moddy double six seventy five. Love that up against both firm. I thought you know defensively be pretty strong. It's the Titans. I'm very <laughs> confident. <laughs> Roo's confident. I've got Scotty Sorensen. Uh, Luke Garner, he replaces who scored last week. Scotty S. He's big time, dude. Big fan of his work. And obviously, Paul Alamotti goes in. <laughs> Why, might you ask? <laughs> Favourite player. Well, Paul Alamotti's paying decent odds in a game where you, your Taroovs are like a dollar five. So, you know, it's Paul's a value play. Yep. Alamotti season. It's yep. Alamotti season, dude. 979 for Scotty S and Alamotti in a game where they're paying a dollar eleven to win. So they're good odds. I'm taking him for a hattie. Um, <laughs> <laughs> again. Yeah, again. So it's a it's a, it's a pokey machine bet. And the name Alamotti, for some reason it reminds me of like the dogs in like 2006 or something. You know what I mean? It's got the, it's the name that's going to get a Hattie, not just because he's got a Hattie, but because we're all on him and we'll all remember it. Alamotti. You know what I mean? Like I'm trying to remember who, what out. dogs player of that area. Are you you thinking like a Tony Grimaldi, maybe? Yeah, yeah. Like, all that sort of, yeah, yeah. like all that sort of stuff. And I, it's a name that just sticks with you. And to break Tony this curse, Grimaldi. we were all on it. It's going to be a name that stays for the rest of the time. Alamotti, Hattie, against the Titans. Look, the Titans, they, they, it's just like fucking shooting season, really. Mm. Like, just pick your try scorers. Again, if you get Taruva, To'o, someone else, it's going to spit out $6. Yep. Like, Alamotti for a Hattie, 41 You're actually getting more this week than you are last week against the Titans, which is crazy. So It's got a bit of acetasi to it. Yeah, it's acetasi. Acetasi, yeah, it's all like, like, like all of yeah, it. It's... It, it just, it's, it's something about the name. Okay. Well, yeah. well we watch uh, with bated breath for Paul Alamotti to score fuckloads of tries. I just <laughs> want to put it out there. Left centers have scored five tries against the Titans this season. Only the hooker and lock has scored least tries. Shut the up, The third Rando. least scoring <laughs> try scoring position. Shut up. The bench has scored more tries than the left center uh, okay. against the How Titans. How is that possible? I don't know, but it's, it's, it's the Sounds like it. bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, Lippy's got Panthers plus 13. Uh, uh, sorry, Panthers 13 plus. AKP Martin Toto River 2020. Not enough. Not enough, Not dude. Four try scorers. Not enough. Backs. All right. Second last game here. We got Manly v. the Sharkies. We are at Brookvale. I'll be there. Sorry, Four Pines. Uh, seventy-eight for Manly. 205 for the Sharks. Interested to see why that would be. Uh, the line, one and a half. Total, 49 and a half. Rando. Because they suck against Well, I know, but I'm just more like... They hate Manly and they hate Brookvale. They do Four hate Pines. Brookvale. It's the second worst active record uh, at Four Pines Park. Huge. Winning just eight of their 44 games. However, when Nico Hines is in town, it's a different story. He's won both games he's played at Brookvale. Won six of his seven games against his former club that let him go as well. So Trent Barrett did it. We didn't do it. <laughs> For try scorers, though, I do like the other halfback, Daly Cherry Evans. He's scored in each of the last three final regular season games he has played. It's the longest running streak of any player in the last three seasons. That's a dribble And start. scored in two of his three games at Brookie he's played in in September. Love that. I have DCE in my bet. And I've got Kula and Hamole. God, I've been waiting for a Hamole try for a while, but he was he was on one last week. So I like him to go over. Kula at fullback, like him to get at least a few looks. You know, he's got he can have some looks. And then your DCE stat really just uh you know that works for me. 29 33 for three try scorers, two of them backs and one of them Hamole. That's value. That's hotness. 
Uh, Manly playing for a home a home final here, which would just be biblical stuff. Obviously, the Sharks hate Brookvale. Obviously, the Sharks hate Manly in general. This is a Sunday afternoon game. The slot that we just fucking gag for more than any other. The boys are absolutely hot, heavy, and primed for rugby league glory. We're peaking at the right time of the season. I like Manly minus one and a half. I fucking like the shit out of it. John's kid, Lehigh, arguably the most prodigious of all these fucking... Rookie uh, of the year? Who else would win rookie of the year? Lockie Galvin. Shut up. A lot of people win it. Lucky like Alvin can't win it. People are saying Max Plath and shit. Fuck that loser. It's Lee. Well, Hussey. hold on. No, no, no. We, I'm a fan of Max Plath. Don't call him a loser. Not when he's not when it's direct head to head with Lehigh. Fair. Uh, That's what I'm saying. Max know? on his own. Max on his like. Max just living by himself. Mm. Fine. Okay. But a Max. A Max versus Lehigh situation. Okay. Right. I can't. Yeah. I can't get around him. Who are you saying? Oh, I've got the real rookie of the year. Kyle Ito to score first, second, or third. But you don't get rugby league. Right, no, you don't. <laughs> Leaderboard would say otherwise. But no. well, listen, the season's not over, buddy. So don't fucking count those chickens of yours because they ain't hatched yet. But you have won your uh, super coach draft, so congratulations for that. Well, that's a good point. Uh, Manly minus one and, and a half, Lehigh, triple, 261. Rue, 261. Got? I got Eero, first, second, or third. Uh, I like the way that Trindle plays flat and fast on that edge. And Ruben Garrick, I think he's a target. A spot defender out there. Okay. Don't be disrespectful. It's just, it's just negative. For no reason. You I just you, you could have come in here with really good pro Manly Seagull stats. Mm. Instead, you just want to stick negative, the negative. boot in, just be negative. I mentioned it on the bloke podcast on Monday, and Kevin said to me, um, oh, you know, he's really improved his defence. I went, yeah, yeah, I looked up the stats. He missed eight tackles last week. Who? Who do you reckon? Rubes. They yeah. were going at him. Uh, it was, it was No doubt they were watch. going at him. As will the watch. Sharkies. You know, first, second, or third, $8. Okay. He's at right. $3.30 in ATS. I like that. I had that tripled until the South Sydney had been Oh, managed. well, there you go. Good. So, uh, with the Sharks, I've kind of figured out, like, I don't do the opposite of what you think, but I'm not going to do it, but it just kind of influences my try scorers. Because I think Manly pump him, right? It's the Sharks. I think Manly pump him, but then... Go the opposite. So instead of taking the Sharks, I'm just going to have a few more Sharks, try scorers and Manly's. Manly, I'm taking Cooler, but then uh, Nikara and Ramian. Those three, 32, 34. Like, I wish I followed my gut last week and just went was clean outright like Eddie did. But I'm thinking the Sharks might actually make this pretty close. or maybe You just come started this thing saying we'd pump them. Yeah, because yeah. I'm. Th that's what I think initially – but then with the Sharks, I have to bet oppositely. Okay. So then the Sharks, my... So, I think so Manly the Sharks should, should pump Manly. I right. think Manly should pump the Sharks, meaning the Sharks are probably going to score a lot of tries. Okay. Yeah, yep. that's the way I'm thinking about okay. it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 32, 34 yep. for that. Yep. Uh, if it wasn't against Manly, I would say that, that the odds there are pretty nice. Um, what is the lippy doing? Lehigh, Cooler, Hamole, Nicara, 54, 60. Sure. That's not a bad bet, bro. That's not a bad bet at all. Final game of the round, Knights v. The Fish. Uh, we are at Knights. McDonald Jones, dollar seventy-two. the Knights, 2.15 for The Fish. Two and a half the line, 49 and a half. Total points. Rando, what uh, are we doing? The big stat heading into this game is that a Wayne Bennett coach team has never fallen out of a final spot on the last round of the regular season. He's either won the last game or gotten lucky with results in six occasions. Uh, this time, he's going to have to win the game because if the Knights win, they go through. The Knights, they have lost nine of their last ten final regular season games. So they haven't been able to finish well historically. For try scorers, the Dolphins' right edge, they've conceded a try to a left centre in five of the last six games. Bradman Best has scored five tries in his last six Sunday 4pm games at McDonald Jones. Or you can take Jake Avarillo, who's out to $3.10. He's scored in each of his last four games. The Knights have conceded a try to a 5-8 in two of their last three games. And if you watched last week's game against the Titans, Jaden Campbell almost made it three from three. So I don't mind Jakey Avarillo at $3.10. Love those Wayne stats. Love those Knights not winning final season game stats. I've got the fish just to win at 215 triple staked. That's an easy bet, that one. That's an easy trip. Yeah, I like the fish as well. Uh, I've thrown in Hammer and Herbie Farnworth. Stocky, just, he just let me down last week, so he's, he's been benched. $8.03. Is that I am not going crazy on this one because I actually really like this game because I, I really – 
the rugby league fan of me just wants the Dolphins to get through and the Knights to miss out. Like, it's just, I have a soft spot for, you know, the underdog and Dolphins starting out. So I'm taking the fish head-to-head hammer. I had Ponga in there, but I was like, he scored two tries last weekend, you fucking idiot. <laughs> Do not try to jump on that because he scored because he had about eight weeks without scoring him. I'm taking yeah, the was. fucking Channing Tatum, Pitbull, and Braddy Best, nine, $9.96. Fish, hammer, best, nine ninety six. And you know what? With what little money left, I'm fucking tripling the thing. Oh, you know what I mean? Like, oh I, Seba. Yeah. Okay. Seba. Yeah, I just got to I gotta have a shot. I got to have a shot. Like, I'll, 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 I'll try. Seba. Cauterize wounds here, but I'll still, mm. I'll still take shots mm. because... As I said, the action is the juice. I always say that. And for a game like this, I'm really excited for this game. So just, yeah, got to make that action, got to make that juice. Yep. I could be dead. I could. I, I don't know the math. I like, but I won't be dead, but I'll nah, be like... Nah, nah, yeah, nah, nah. I'll won't. be very close. Nah, nah. It's 9.96, you'll be fine. You're only giving up... F- 15 bucks. F- uh, five units. Yeah. Who loses? Rue? Not uh, even. I'm going to take Hamiso to cross. I think you'll be marking up three against units. Gagai this week. I like that matchup. Uh, Trey Fuller at fullback for the Dolphins, big fan. He will cross. And I think Dylan Lucas, I think they will send plenty of traffic at Jake Avrillo, depending on that edge. So those three, $18.29. All right. The Lippies got Knights, Sharp 2 plus, Bostock best, Ponga Azako, 189.19. That is desperation. That is wedding. That's the recovery party sort of bet. That's what that is. Uh, and that's us for the games. Let's get to our unit scoopers. Let's get to our hot seats. Let's get the fuck out of here. Now. Unit scooping. I'll go first. I have Raiders Huddy, Cows Talungi, Fish Izarko, and then just Angus Crichton anytime. One, two, five, three, four. 125, 34. I got close last week. It's not bad. I got Wishart Weeks, Lehigh Hammer, Critter, 48, 39. I had Paul Alamotti in mind and decided tipping him for an eighth try was probably a little mm-hmm. over. So I've taken him out. I how I have got so far long ago, Lomax, Fuller and Ito, twenty-three dollars eighty one cents. Seba. I have Katoa in the storm game, like they're gonna cream pie and Blaze Talungi, we're all on him. Dommy Young against the bunnies. We're all thinking he's gonna get first, second, third, maybe just get last and get this up. Huddy Young is gonna get a try in his last game because he loves the word last. Kyle Felt. Trey Fuller, 81.45. That's actually not a bad bet for 81.45 and just watch these guys sweat as it comes down to Trey on Sunday. Could you imagine? Yeah. Could you imagine? Yeah, that would be biblical. That yeah. would be ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Lippy's gone. Anderson, Blaze, AC, Huddy, Critter, Toto, Kula, Ponga, $337.40. All right, let's get to the hot seat and get out of here. All right, I find myself in the hot seat once again. Got a W up last week. No one's shocked. I'm here again. I've only got a few weeks left, and I don't know whether I'm better off throwing or if I'm better off winning. Uh, I feel like there's enough to come for me to probably fall ass first into this. Uh, but then I know the baggy green might be a little bit uh, hollow then. So I'm going to Harvey Dent it. I'm going to leave it up to the coin. And I've got a good throw away. Morgan Smithy served me well last time. Uh, I'm a big believer in following that same path. And then I have got a bet that I believe can get up this week. So we'll leave it up to the coin. See how we go. Uh, chair, I will go Morgan Smithies. Fuck yes. Morgan Smithies, we are on this week. A throwaway. I'm going to back in these three Pelicans to shit the bed as they tend to do week in, week out. Hopefully fall ass first into that baggy green in a couple of weeks' time. Morgan Smithies, $7.25. Probably unders, to be fair, for Morgan Smithies. Hasn't scored a try yet. Surely this week isn't the fucking week. All right. Well, there you go. There you go. That's us done. Roo, roo, roo. Letting the coin decide. Bold stuff there from the great man. Uh, we're all done. Shout out to Neds once again for your support. Uh, live stream Friday, 6 p.m. for the Spoon Bowl. Uh, anything else? Nah. Nah. See you next week. Bye. Chances are you're about to lose. For free and confidential support, call the number on the screen or visit the website.